Hi, this is Joseph from The Healthy Marriage, and I want to talk about how to listen to your spouse when your marriage is in crisis. You know, before I give you these five tips I want to share, I want you to keep in mind that you are not the problem. Your marriage is in trouble because you both made decisions, actions, and comments to one another that hurt one another. So this is not to place blame. On the contrary, to move forward, someone has to start the process. Now, I'm assuming that person is you since you're the one that is watching or reading this article. So you're not the only one who needs to change, but change has to start somewhere. So if you want your marriage to work, let's start with you. Now, listening is a skill that can be learned. So I'm going to give you five tips that you can use to open a conversation so that you can start listening to your spouse. So here they are. Number one, ask open-ended questions. Avoid questions that can be answered with simple yes or no answers. Open-ended questions often include how they feel about something and what they think is the issue. Remember, you're trying to open a conversation, and the goal is to discover the reasons behind their frustration, their disappointment, and their anger, and their desire to either separate or divorce. Open-ended questions allow you to dig deep into their feelings and thoughts. Now, it's important to know this. This is where the real issues are. What they think and feel about the marriage is what's driving their decision. Number two, ask why they want a divorce. Now, this is tricky. Understanding what stage of conflict your marriage is in determines how you start a conversation. So this is the key. When you ask a question, pay attention to what they say and what they infer. And they may not always say what they mean, but if you pay attention, you can decipher what's underneath their words. For example, if they say, we never have sex anymore, it may mean that you're not intimate enough. Or it may indicate that they simply don't feel connected at any level. Unfortunately, people don't always know why they feel the way they do, so they say whatever sounds close. And sometimes they do know, but they don't want to say so. They make up something. Usually what they say has a glimmer of truth you can use to discover the deeper issue. It's your job to find out the real meaning and the real cause of their feelings. Number three, ask what they want from you. Now this is important. It does two things you need to pay attention to. Number one, it helps them articulate what they perceive as the problem. Remember, their perception is what is driving their decision. It's what they think about the marriage that matters at this point. Number two, it helps you understand their perspective. Knowledge is power. The more you know about what drives them, the easier it is to find a solution. Both of these are necessary to move forward. So number four, Do not get defensive. They will, more than likely, say things that hurt. Listen, they want a divorce for a reason. Something has happened that brought them to that point, and you need to understand that. So when they tell you, listen, don't react. It's hard, but necessary. Remember, your goal is to find out the why behind their desire to divorce, separate, or fight. Keep that in mind. And number five, never forget your goal. This is important. You must discover why they feel the way they do. You cannot repair or fix a problem you're not aware of. This knowledge is the key to turning things around. So you need to know how to ask the right questions, open-ended questions, and you need to learn to listen and pay attention to what they're not saying as much as what they are saying. Well, is this all that it takes? Of course not. It's just the beginning. But you have to start somewhere. So knowing the reason your spouse is dissatisfied, dissatisfied gives you the opportunity to decide 
what to do next. It helps you map out your next move in the relationship. If you'll remember and use these five tips, your job will be much easier when it comes to getting your marriage back on track. For more information on navigating the different stages of marriage conflict or saving your marriage, I want you to go to our resource section at thehealthymarriage.org slash toolkit. There you'll find a, a ton of information and programs, books, and courses that will help you in whatever stage you're in and whatever area needs to be addressed in your marriage. So that's it. Listen, I hope these five tips help you connect with your spouse and discover how to listen to what they're saying and even what they're not saying. Mm-hmm.